Have you ever wondered what the Earth was like when giant insects roamed it? Picture this, a world teeming with towering ferns and dense, humid forests where the buzz of insect wings echoes through the air. This isn't a scene from a science fiction movie, but the reality of Earth around 300 million years ago during a period known as the Carboniferous. The Carboniferous period was a time of great change and evolution. It was during this period that the first known appearance of giant insects occurred. Insects as we know them today are creatures of modest size, but back then they were true titans of their time. Imagine dragonflies with wingspans the size of hawks and millipedes stretching over two meters long, dwarfing their modern day counterparts. What was it about the Carboniferous period that allowed these insects to grow to such massive sizes? Well, it all comes down to the environmental conditions of the time. The Earth's atmosphere was much different than it is today. It was filled with a rich, oxygen-heavy air that fueled the growth of these giant insects. The oxygen concentration was significantly higher than today, up to 35% compared to today's 21%. In addition to the oxygen-rich atmosphere, the Earth was also experiencing warmer temperatures. This tropical climate was conducive to the growth and survival of these giant insects. The warm temperatures, combined with the high oxygen levels, created an environment where these insects could grow to sizes that are unfathomable today. These conditions set the stage for the dawn of the giant insects, a time in Earth's history that is both fascinating and slightly terrifying to imagine. It's a time that challenges our understanding of the natural world and the creatures that inhabit it. Now that we've set the stage, let's dive deeper into the world of these giant insects. As we journey forward, we'll explore the rain, fall, and lasting legacy of these prehistoric giants. So buckle up for a trip back in time to a world that's almost too strange to believe. So what types of giant insects existed during this time? It's a fascinating question that takes us back to an era where insects reigned supreme, a time of dragonflies with wingspans up to two feet and millipedes stretching over six feet long. Let's start with the dragonflies, known then as the griffinflies of the Carboniferous period. Griffinflies were not your ordinary dragonflies. Imagine a dragonfly with a wingspan of two feet, roughly the size of a hawk. That's what the Meganeura, the largest known species of griffinflies, was like. They were the top predators of their time, swooping down on their prey with incredible speed and precision. On the other end of the spectrum, we have the Arthropleura, a type of millipede that could grow over six feet long. These enormous critters were the largest known land-dwelling invertebrates of all time. Unlike the predatory Meganeura, Arthropleura were likely herbivores, feasting on the abundant plant life of their era. These creatures, along with many others, played critical roles in their respective ecosystems. The giant dragonflies, with their voracious appetites, kept other insect populations in check, maintaining a crucial balance in the food chain. The giant millipedes, meanwhile, contributed to the ecosystem's health by breaking down dead plant material, recycling nutrients back into the soil. It's worth noting that these giants' existence was only possible due to the Earth's unique conditions at the time. The oxygen-rich atmosphere of the Carboniferous period allowed insects, which breathe through their exoskeletons, to grow much larger than they can today. But as we all know, nothing lasts forever. Even the mightiest of creatures are subject to the unyielding forces of evolution and environmental change. The reign of the giant insects, as formidable as they were, was not to be a permanent fixture in Earth's history. These creatures were indeed formidable, but what led to their downfall? Stay tuned as we delve into the fall of the giants in the next scene. Despite their size and dominance, giant insects didn't last forever. What happened? The answer lies in a confluence of theories, each pointing to a different aspect of life's ever-changing tapestry. Firstly, let's consider the environment. The world that these giant insects inhabited was vastly different from the one we know today. The Earth was warmer, with no polar ice caps, and there was a significantly higher level of oxygen in the atmosphere. It was this oxygen-rich environment that allowed arthropods to grow to such gigantic proportions. However, as the Earth's climate began to change, so too did the composition of the atmosphere. Oxygen levels fell, and with it, the size of the insects. In addition to environmental changes, Competition with other species played a significant role in the downfall of the giants. With the rise of birds and mammals, insects faced new predators that they were ill-equipped to deal with. These new adversaries were not only more adept at hunting, but also had the ability to adapt to changing environments faster than their six-legged counterparts. Another theory suggests that the evolution of flowering plants, or angiosperms, may have contributed to the decline of giant insects. 
These plants produced a wider variety of habitats and food sources, favoring smaller, more specialized insects. The giants, unable to adapt to these new ecological niches, found their numbers dwindling. While the precise cause of the extinction of giant insects is still a topic of debate among scientists, a combination of these factors likely contributed to their downfall. As oxygen levels declined, competition increased, and ecological niches evolved, these titans of the insect world found themselves ill-suited to the changing conditions of their environment. Their reign may have ended, but their legacy lives on. The evidence of their existence, imprinted in fossil records, serves as a stark reminder of the Earth's dynamic history and how it continues to shape and influence the life that inhabits it today. Giant insects have been extinct for millions of years, but their impact can still be felt today. The colossal bugs that once dominated the planet have left an indelible mark not just on our world, but also on our imaginations and scientific understanding. Imagine the world of science without the influence of these leviathans of the insect world. Our knowledge of Earth's history and the evolution of life would be considerably less rich. The remnants of their existence found in the form of fossils have provided scientists with invaluable insights into the atmospheric conditions of ancient Earth. They've helped us understand how our planet has changed over time and how life has adapted in response. Yet the legacy of the giants extends beyond the realm of science. They've taken on a life of their own in popular culture, casting long shadows over our collective imagination. They've inspired countless monster movies, with filmmakers drawing upon their frightening forms to create creatures of nightmare and fantasy. They've found their way into literature, fueling our fascination with the unknown and the monstrous. In the world of art, these giants have been immortalized, their forms inspiring sculptures and paintings, a testament to their enduring allure. They've even influenced fashion, their unique shapes and patterns providing inspiration for designers. But perhaps the most poignant aspect of their legacy is their role as a reminder of the fragility of life. These giants, once rulers of their domain, are now extinct, their reign ended by changes in the Earth's atmosphere. They serve as a stark reminder of the ever-changing nature of life on Earth and the potential consequences of environmental changes. In the grand tapestry of Earth's history, the chapter of the giant insects is a fascinating one. They've shaped our understanding of the past, influenced our culture, and continue to inspire awe and wonder. They may be gone, but they are far from forgotten. The legacy of the giants continues to live on, a testament to their immense influence during their reign on Earth and their enduring impact long after their extinction. The world of giant insects is a fascinating chapter in Earth's history. This is where we started, and this is where we wrap up our journey. Imagine a world teeming with insects the size of birds, ruling the air, the land, and the water. A time when the hum of giant dragonflies echoed through the forests and massive millipedes scuttled along the Earth's floor. This was the reign of the giant insects, a period of natural history that still captivates our imagination today. These creatures, seemingly plucked from the pages of a science fiction novel, once dominated the planet. Their reign, however, was not infinite. Changes in the Earth's atmosphere, competition from evolving life forms, and a series of extinction events led to the fall of these giants, but not before they left an indelible mark on the world. Even though they no longer rule the Earth, the legacy of these colossal creatures continues to shape our understanding of life's diversity and resilience. They remind us of the intricate and delicate balance of nature, of the power of evolution, and of the constant and inevitable change that is a hallmark of life on Earth. So, as we close this chapter, let's not forget the lesson these giant insects teach us. They encourage us to keep exploring, to continue unraveling the mysteries of our planet's past, and to keep asking questions about the natural world. Because every question leads us closer to understanding the complex tapestry of life that has unfolded over billions of years. The story of the giant insects is a testament to the ever-changing nature of life on Earth. Who knows what fascinating creatures the future holds? As we look forward to the future, let's remember to look back at our past, for it holds countless untold stories waiting to be discovered. From the world of giant insects we say goodbye, but the journey of exploration continues.